Welcome back to Countdown. Remember the second game of our doubleheader. Lakers are heading to Portland. It's a very high stakes matchup and I can kind of see it in your eyes. The confusion surrounding the play in tournament. We want to get it all broken down for you. Col Kurt Goldsberry is actually in the studio here with us. He's a little bit of a genius with the playoff, a genius with math, and he's going to break it all down for you leading into this Lakers and Portland matchup. Yeah, thanks, Maria. Simply put, this is the biggest game of the year for both the Lakers and the Blazers, but they arrive at this game in different ways. The Lakers have lost four of their last five. The Blazers have won five of their last six. The result of those two streaks is that these two teams are now deadlocked in sixth, fighting for the last guaranteed playoff spot out west. But here's the big deal for the Lakers. They have a very tough remaining schedule. Not only do they have this game at Damian Lillard's Portland Blazers tonight, they have a huge game Sunday against Chris Paul and the Suns, and then Tuesday at home in Staples against the Red Hot Knicks. If LeBron James is not able to play, there's a world where the Lakers go 0-3 here. But if there's one piece of good news for the Lakers, it's that the Blazers also have a very tough remaining schedule. Look at this. Lakers, Spurs, Jazz, Suns, all remaining here. But here's the main point. The Blazers are hotter and healthier than the Lakers are right now. And so if they just hold serve tonight, here's the scenario that I see playing out. The Lakers drop and the Trailblazers steal that last guaranteed spot. And yes, that's right. The Lakers begin their title defense in the play-in tournament, potentially against Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. All right, appreciate that, Kirk. And if that is the case, the Lakers would be the seven or eight seed in the Western Conference, meaning a first round series against either the Jazz or the Suns. Of course, that's if they made it past the Warriors. And according to ESPN's BPI, Utah would have a 62% chance to beat the Lakers in a playoff series, while Phoenix would have a 38% chance. Okay, so J. Rose, mm -hmm. we just got it all broken down. Woj told you that LeBron James might not be able to come back really anytime soon. He's working towards being able to be back on the court. Uh, we know where they could end up. Kirk believes in the Portland Trailblazers because they're they're moving really hot right now. Do you have concerns for the Lakers? I have major concerns. Shout to 24 karat Goldsberry. He is a genius. <laughs> <called him. laughs> Here's the thing. I'm going to just say this. If the Lakers are involved in the playing tournament, they will not win the championship this year. Mm. Wow. That's how strong I feel okay. about it. We have never seen a team 7C or below win a championship in the history of the league. And I know that this is a unique season with COVID and people being in and out of lineup and 72 games and having it abbreviated. That's the main reason. But another reason is when you come from the seventh spot, man, that journey is so very tough. And look at how Anthony Davis just got injured the other day. That's a prime example of why that hill is so very steep to climb. So for me, it's imperative that they're not part of the playing tournament. It's hard for me to bet against LeBron James because I'll take LeBron James at 80%. I still think he's better than 90% of the league at 80%. He's still that talented. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing for me is they're going to be in the playing tournament. I've been saying this for mm -hmm. the longest time. That's going to happen. Truncated season, That's injuries, trouble, and it's shrewd or not. It's going to be trouble. tough, but you know what? All right, we're reevaluating Donovan Mitchell's injury. It's ankle, right? Okay, Utah, you've been, the, whole, you've been the, the best team in the league the whole year. The whole year, that's ever, all everybody's been talking about. They deserve it. They're the best team. You have to go against the Lakers in round one. Prove it. Mm. Prove it. Yeah. Prove it against that team with seven seed or lower to actually have a chance to win it. But that seven seed team didn't have LeBron James or AD. It could be a very early test for either the Jazz or the Suns or whoever comes out number one in the West. And that's not what you want to see, but uh, essentially it could no be choice. something. Yeah, you have no choice. But injuries have played a huge role in the Western standings in general. Yeah, injuries and COVID. Yeah. And for the Lakers right now, not just LeBron James out with the ankle, but Dennis Schroeder out um, into health and safety protocol at least another seven days. Mm. And so they certainly are going to miss him tonight against Portland. Listen, he's their playmaker. He's a great defender in the backcourt and against Dame Lillard and CJ McCollum. You know, they're playing with Alex Caruso in the backcourt now. That's going to be difficult for the Lakers. And then that New Orleans team who was trying to fight their way back into the play in, you know, Zion Williamson with that fractured uh, finger on his shooting hand, his ring finger. I think the expectation is he's probably played his last regular season game. Mm. If they somehow got in the play in, it could advance perhaps. Uh, but this isn't an injury that that you just are back out on the court with. 
And I think for New Orleans, ultimately, this was a team that was really a disappointment this season. Mm -hmm. Now, can I ask a question? If you're a Lakers fan mm -hmm. and you see Father Time taking its effect on LeBron James, are you confident moving forward that AD can carry your franchise? He hasn't shown that he can stay healthy for the entire regular season. That's and this what I'm is saying. a perfect example why. When LeBron saying. James, at this point of his career, is going to miss games potentially, you hope AD can be healthy, but he's also out, and that's why they're in this situation. I think this is a tough year to make those kind of judgments about players on. The Lakers, we could have scripted them having injury problems coming out of the bubble, the shortest offseason of anybody, oh, then, a, then a, you know, um, a tight regular season with a lot of games condensed into a few days. We've seen injuries all over the league, and I think for LeBron James, uh, for Anthony Davis, it was, I think it was telegraphed that this was something the Lakers are going to have to deal with, and here it is. Yeah, they had a short offseason. Right now, the Lakers are 2-4 and four with just AD on the court, no LeBron James, but they've lost seven of their last nine. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.